channel, but today I wanted to do something. I've been practicing a lot of my public speaking and my presentation using my IG story as a tool. So now I'm gonna do a whole presentation for you guys and I'm gonna try to do it uh, without making any clips or cuts or any edits. So today, what I wanted to teach you guys is about the importance of books and how to implement a new technique, how to get better at reading books. Obviously one of the biggest uh, factors of my recent success and um, you know just my happiness and me reaching for success has been uh, me because of reading books okay so I've learned this from one of my online mentors you probably uh, seen his YouTube videos it's called Ty Lopez I shared a TED talk about him and one of his famous TED talks uh, that I, I don't know how many views it was but it was how to read a book in a day right it's not really how to read a book in a day, but this technique to kind of get as much information as you can from that one book. Okay, so that's where I learned it from. If you guys want a link, you guys can email me, send me a text message, and I'll send you the website as well. And his uh, program starts at $65, and I paid for it, and $65 versus the education that I've got in uh, a university, which is about $35,000. Uh, like, I paid that easy, and there was so much value in that uh, program. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with the smart reading technique. Uh, so there's three types of books that I read uh, or that you, you kinda have to pick. Uh, so this is all the end goal is to get your uh, health, wealth, and relationships better, your happiness. Uh, so his values align kinda like with mine so that's why I chose him to be one of my mentors. Uh, and that's the importance of finding mentors. So what you wanna pick is a classic book. A book that has uh, the test of time something that uh, people have been reading for a long time, it's been on the bestseller list for a while, right? So that means it's credible. Um, how to win friends and influence people. I think all great business people have read it, all entrepreneurs have read it. Uh, I read it, uh, I read a modern version on it on Audible, and, but so I bought the physical copy so I could have for my reference and take notes and everything in it. And then this, I don't know if it's considered a classic yet, but I read this in college and it's thick. I didn't get through it all. I probably got to like the middle of it. And then I remember this being such like one of my favorite books that I read, but I just chose not to read it. You know, you know, time, you know, making excuses, that's what happened. So I came back, bought this one. I also bought his second edition too. So it's an amazing work. And I think for me, it's personally a classic. So whatever, it could be a classic to you. And then the next is how-to books, right? So we got Real Estate Millionaire here. Uh, investor. I read the Real Estate Millionaire Salesperson book on Audible and then I have the Encyclopedia of Modern build, uh, Bodybuilding written by Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of my favorite idols, one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time. And this thing has so much information into it. I read this when I really started pursuing bodybuilding in college. But I, I read it wrong. I read it pretty much like from the front to the end encyclopedia or like something that has like this as references and real estate millionaire the technique is that you read a little bit at a time you don't read this from the beginning to the end you read you take a little tidbits from it uh, maybe read like a chapter that you want to improve on uh, and then go back and try it and then go back and read some more and then start adding more knowledge that's the reason why we read uh, uh, how-to books okay and I have other how-to books as well too. Uh, so for anything that you want to be good at, you know, if it's like cooking, music, read those how-to books. It's gonna get you better uh, and make you sharp. Okay. And then the last one that I have here is biographies. Okay. So the reason why we read biographies. So you got Arnold Schwarzenegger, who you see is a common theme in a lot of my my library. Um, you develop courage from them, right? So Arnold Schwarzenegger is an immigrant from Australia, bodybuilder, real estate mogul, movie star, a lot of things that you like. I would probably want to pursue in my life. But pretty much, I am pursuing in my life. So it's like he's a great mentor. He's influenced me heavily when I was a a kid. So you what what you want to do when you pick mentors or books, biographies to read, you want to get in the mindset of your your influencer your role model your inspiration right so you could start kind of moving in the path of them but um and then you have then i have sam walton here 
I'm trying to be a very successful entrepreneur. Uh, so basically reading autobiography, biographies, you get to learn the mistakes that these people have learned through business because a lot of these guys are failed and that's one of the things that autobiographies and biography teaches is how to fail and how to gracefully move on. There's a lot of things that I do, I'm gonna tell you that, I face every day where I could fail and I fail a lot but I have so many other things going in, so much positive things going on, I always could keep the momentum going. So, you know, every for anybody out there that's really trying to improve their life for, you know, 2018, uh, setting bigger goals for yourself, I think the one new technique or one new thing that, you know, uh, habit that you need to instill in your personal development, self-development uh, itself needs to be reading more books, right? I know you're probably like, I don't have time to read books, but these techniques that I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, it's gonna make it a little bit easier. So, when you go into the library, right, what you wanna do, let's take how to win friends and influence people for an example, right, Dale Carnegie. So what you wanna do is read the front. I don't know if you guys know who Dale Carnegie is, but he's a successful business person like way back in the day. If you don't know, what you do is you read the back and it'll tell you how accomplished he is, if he's like a real person, a real professor, or somebody that actually done research, not some uh, Joe Schmo that's just writing a book, right? And then uh, sometimes the jacket, this doesn't have it, but it has the jacket about the author. So you wanna read a little bit about the author, make sure he's a little bit more credible. And then you wanna read um, through the chapters, right? You read through the chapters, fundamental techniques and handling people, six ways to make people like you, right? All seems like pretty good topic I wanna read, right? Uh, so what I would do is, I will read the first chapter. A lot of the times in the first chapter of the book, uh, it'll tell you kinda like the whole book itself. Uh, and then a lot of the times, uh, it'll just have like supporting facts, supporting research, uh, so you don't have to read the whole thing. A lot of it is just kind of fillers to make sure that you know you get a good product that you can read from the front to the back. But you don't actually have to read the whole thing to get the the information. That's the most important thing, right? And so that is basically the technique for uh, smart reading. Let's not call it uh, speed reading. It's smart reading. I could effectively read like four books at a time. I have one on Audible and have and any any given time I could be reading four or five other books, right? To kind of figure out and uh, you know kind of help pursue my my, my goals, my happiness. Uh, the reason why another reason why books are so good is because they help you strategize your life. If you don't have a strategy for life, uh, say it's your health, because health is what uh, it's very important. But if you don't make goals, plan it. Uh, it's very easy to put behind you. Same with wealth, same with building good relationship. If you're not actively strategizing about how to improve it every day, you're not gonna get to your goals, you're not gonna get happy. Okay guys, and that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed my presentation on why you should be reading books. Hope you should be making big goals. If you're not even thinking about 2018 right now, I would strongly encourage you to start thinking that now. You guys should start be thinking about 2019, 20, and beyond. Don't just think one year ahead. You should be thinking light years ahead, okay? All right, guys, stay motivated, stay hungry, and live like a beast.